What's up guys, my name is 50 Levels Up and welcome back to Ghost of Tsushima And last episode, well I don't really remember what happened Oh right, we're doing some quests Lots of quests, lots of fun quests And now we're here next to this Lady Mosco quest I think she's going crazy right now, but you know, a few things I maxed out my bow, both of them So both of these are maxed out Now we can sell bamboo, this doesn't sell for much It only sells for like, one supply So I'm just gonna stick this out in the iron And you would and then changed up my armor. Now we're rocking the red. I don't really like the third va variation of this armor, so I don't bother using that. And um, I think I think that's everything. Also, I found the watchtower somewhere. It's a, I don't remember where it was, but I found the watchtower, and it was a Mongol outpost. So now we only have two more to get rid of. So that means the castle, and then one more hidden one. I don't know about, but. Right, Lady Moscow's going crazy. Gento, I'm surprised to see you here. Is your family safe? Thanks to you, my lord. When we learned the battle at Komoda went poorly, we left Omi village and came here, just like you told us. But the monks... Won't let you in. That's right. My uncle and I have history here. It's been a long time since I came back. But I'll do what I can to help. You've never failed us, my lord. Oh. Glad everyone made it out of Omi village alive. Do you have news? Did the Mongols destroy our homes? The village stands. It will be easy to repair the damage once the Mongols have been dealt with. That's wonderful news. I expected the worst. See to your family. I'll speak with the monks. Thank you. Oh, okay. I thought I thought these people had to do something, Lady Masako. Okay, then I guess they're not letting people in for some you. weird reason. You can seek assistance at the gate leading toward Omi village. I like how I walked straight past the man. That does not sound like Kajiwara. Then you are a bigger fool than I thought. Jin, a word. Hey, it's Junshin from... Oh, he's traveled. Masako, what's wrong? A man named Kachiwara recruited the men who killed my family. His name is on the list. He lives in this prefecture. That monk knows where, but he won't tell me. Junshin means well. I'll talk to him. Junshin, it's good to see you. And you, Lord Sakai. Lady Masako and I are looking for Kajiwara. You know where he is. She accused him of terrible things. I fear for his life if she finds him. Masako has good reason to believe he recruited the men who killed her family. Hmm. He would never do that. He is a humble fisherman, a loving husband and father. I think she is blinded by rage. Jushin. I need to talk to him. As long as it is just talking. She is blinded by rage though. I'll give Junshin that. She is definitely blinded by rage. I want to do the side quest that allows me to help these people outside the gates of this temple Take as the well. Take from here to the coast. Kajiwara's hut is on the beach. Well, we'll take the road to the coast. Thank you for your help, monk. Peace be with you, Lady Masako. She's the way she just called a monk. You said to Junshin that I didn't. He doesn't even try to hear me. It's like talking to a stone. I think he's afraid of you. Afraid? Why? You can be intimidating. In our world, that is not a bad thing. We are hunting a cruel and vicious man. He was a retainer for our clan. Dependable and skilled, but quick to anger. We excused his behavior until the day I caught him beating his wife and daughter. A coward, hurting his own family. I dismissed him immediately. I offered his wife and daughter refuge in our house. Within a day, they'd gone back to him. It's not always easy. Especially when you think they'll change. Okay, go to Tsushima. That should take us to the beach. We'll leave the horses to avoid being seen. We should approach with caution. 
I don't want to put Kajiwara's family giving a surreal life lesson about abuse. <laughs> like, oh my, I did not expect that. It's true, though. He really is. That must be Kajiwara's fishing hut. The Mongols found it. They may have already killed him and his family. There's a chance they're still alive. Let's go. How many are there? Five? Six. Come and fight! I keep messing up standoffs. Like, any single, anytime you just see me with low health, it's because I messed up a standoff. Oh, and I maxed out this armor. Because you see, now there's five guys. Huh, okay, there's eight of them. Nine. Ow. For a, simple, for a simple fishing hunt, this is a really big pier. I'll deal with this fire in a second. There we go. Moscow, you can't deal with this. There you go. I don't see any more Mongols. Let's check the house for Kajiwara and his family. New rolls of cloth. Not cloth, silk. More than a humble fisherman could afford. Right. You're dead, okay. This must be Kajiwara's wife and daughter. I always feared this would be their fate. Maybe the Mongols killed them? Then where is Kajiwada's body? He might have escaped. This blade is covered in blood. It doesn't look like a Mongol weapon. It's a fisherman's tool. He killed his family, didn't he? And then he got the Mongols to... Footprints. Leading away from the hut. What if Kajiwada survived? He did. He ran like a coward. Let's follow the footprints. The more I don't want Lady Masako to be justified, the more she is justified. Kajiwara! Lady Masako! The Mongols attacked! My wife and daughter! Quiet, snake! We know you killed them. Out of love. Better me than the Mongols. It's what they wanted. You sick jit! You recruited the assassins who killed my family! Who hired you? Tell me, and I will end you lovingly, like you did your wife and daughter. All I know is, he understood. Understood what? How it feels to be ruined by you. How I was driven to poverty. The toll it took on my family. How <laughs> Couldn't stand to hear another word. Everything he said was a lie. Except about being ruined by me. I know Sadao felt the same way. The conspirators are bonded by hate. The attack on your clan was personal. Organized by a rival samurai with a deep grudge. But I can't think of who. We'll find him. The real question is, what did her family do to cause this grudge? I want to figure it out. Come on. All right, but we're close to being, I think the next level might be Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima. I hope so. I have so much silk. Oh, by the way, I changed my horse harness too. See, now Sora's looking fancy. I mean, he's all, he always looks fancy. <laughs> right, so before I do this, I want to do Lady Masako's last quest. She doesn't... Oh, I was about to say she doesn't have one. Kushi. Oh, I practically cleared that area, so it shouldn't be infested by Mongols. Oh. 
permission, not apologies. Perhaps apologies. I feel bad for Junjin because he has to keep dealing with her. I know she can be pretty intense. Stay safe. I hate the fact that I can't sell steel because I really don't need it. Lord Sakai, I am worried about her. Junshin, what was that about? Lady Masako is looking for someone. She is angry I couldn't help. Like you helped with Kajiwara the fisherman? Did you ever find him? Yes, after he killed his wife and daughter. How could I be so foolish? My friend can be harsh, but she speaks the truth. This time, I truly do not know who she's after. You have nothing to fear. I'll speak with her. Thank you, Lord Sakai. And also for ridding this farmstead of Mongols. Now we can rebuild. These people are lucky to have you. Be well. I like how they added that set of dialogue. I mean, you, well, you wouldn't have you you couldn't have this interaction until you clear this place. So, I kind of didn't matter. Oh, I thought I thought I was an item. My bad. Did the farmers know who you're looking for? Someone on the list. A thief. I'll help you find them. I need to handle it myself. The farmer said they left with armed men. Mercenaries. Professional killers. They could complicate things. I can use your help, but I need your discretion. You can count on it. The farmers said they went toward the bridge outside the farmstead. It's this way. Hmm? Ah, Sora. My teleporting magical horse. Can I jump over this? Yes, sir. I like this red look. I had to put on the whole gear just to this give a feel. She looted Clan Adachi's estate after the attack. Stole valuable heirlooms, personal items. What makes it worse is that Mai was our former servant. Three years ago, my husband caught her stealing. He wanted to have her flogged. I did what I could for her, but she had to go. It almost sounds like you miss her. She was a dear friend. Her betrayal stings more than the others. Summer kind of reminds you of that movie, The Last Samurai, with Tom Cruise, because you know he had to wear red armor after he killed so and so's dad, brother, in law. I'm going to sell everything. I'm just waiting for the right time. Too late. He'll sell those heirlooms himself. Now take us to them. I'll pay you to leave them with me. You have no money. I have this comb. It's gold with pearl in it. That was a gift. It might fetch a fair price. No. We'd have our heads. Enough of this. Take us to the heirlooms. We don't need the mercenaries alive for questioning. Just her. The more of them we eliminate, the easier it'll be to recover what's yours. Just don't be seen, or they might hurt her. Careful. You'll be in the open. Find cover. Too close. Uh, what was that? He's the best That didn't count? <laughs> Bruh, that was so smart by me though. Like, <laughs> careful. You'll be in the open. Find cover. Masako, shut up. Look, 
Oh, okay. There's this is planned distractions then. How far is your hiding? Sakai, step back. Okay, a distance. I'll tell your story the best of time. Once there was a girl who worked. In okay, they'll be alerted. Her life was hard and had no cutter. One day, a monk from far away came to the tea house, and the two fell instantly in love. Oh, these are the poison flowers that I need to make darts. The girl flew as a demon to the monk's monastery, but the monk saw her coming, hid under a bell. She was clever, then cast fire around the bell, melting and killing the monk inside. Pretty sure she knew. Somebody had to know. I hate fighting straw hats, they dodge too much. You know, I remember when I first started this and I thought that it was going to be annoying because of the camera. I know I need to heal. But I thought that the combat was going to be annoying because of the camera, but really it's not even a deal. I need to speak with Mai. I'm here if you need me. You stole my family's heirlooms for those murderers. How could you betray me? I didn't. You betrayed me. Turn me away. I saved you. My husband wanted you flogged. He knew. Then you should have left with me. I was the lady of Clan Adachi, and you were a thief. I still love you. Then tell me who you serve. He killed my family. And he'll kill me. I won't let him touch you. I'll take you to your family's thing. Bro, who, who knew Lady Masako was gay? <laughs> oh, Jack. <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm just thinking about that. Hold on. That's funny. <laughs> oh, what a plot twist. The man you work for is a samurai. I don't know his name. Never saw his face. He communicated only through notes. Hold on. Hold on, bro. How? I don't know. He said he knew what it was like to love you. That he understood my pain. Masako. Mai was my only... Ha has been the only... He was anxious about the heirlooms. Concerned they get broken. He's eager to sell them. Their value is purely sentimental. He won't get the money he seeks. Then perhaps he has no intention of selling. It's possible they're personal to him too. He was possessive in his notes. Spoke as if they were his. The heirlooms belong to no one but my family. I am the only one who remains. Bro, I'm just thinking about that. Like, <laughs> that was. 
That genuinely surprised me. Your heirlooms are in the brush, Jin. Will you gather them? I need to say goodbye. She's still finna kill her. But like, I just... Bro, hold on, how old are you? I can't tell, She she's like a, a younger late. But just... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I did not expect that, bruh. To keep your errands safe. When I found out you were alive, I wanted to give them back. I just. Bruh, like, I am still just. Bruh, that just. <laughs> Bro, oh my goodness. I'm just still so shocked. <laughs> She's gone home. Jin, I want you to know I'm not. You don't owe me an explanation. I cared for my husband, but I cared for my too. You still do? I think I always will. The man we hunt has feelings for you. Other than my husband and my, I've had no romances, no admirers. He could have been lying, feigning sympathy to gather recruits. I just don't know who would do that. We'll keep searching. It's only a matter of time. When that time comes, we'll make him pay. Huff, I'm still <laughs> that, that really threw me for a loop. Like, that's crazy. I never expected that from her. I just... I never expected this to be a love story. This whole revenge thing is secretly, like, a revenge love story. And, like... That's blowing my mind. <laughs> like, I, I'm just... I'm, I'm so bamboozled. That's cool though. I did not expect. <laughs> I don't know why that joke is so funny to me. It's so unexpected. It's just I uh, don't uh, know. That that threw me off. I did not expect that from this whole story at all. Uh, that's different. Okay, let's go. About to get a new clan armor die. All oh, right, I got a new technique. Points. I'm going to get this, and then I'm going to build up my ghost weapons. Cause I don't use the ghost weapons like that, so I'd rather get something more useful for me in the moment. Oof. Wow. Okay. Where's Junjin? The massacre. Speak, monk. Please stop. Where is Junjin? Masako, what are you doing? Helping this monk find his tongue. My lord, help. Masako. Let me handle this. Fine. But if you can't make him talk, I will. I wouldn't be surprised if Junshin was the guy. Like, I've been thinking that for a minute. I thought she was going to kill me. No harm will come to you. What do you know about Junshin? Junshin was helping survivors at Red Leaf Temple. But I hear the Mongols raided it. Then he's in danger. We will find him. Why is she so aggressive? <laughs> like, you see how easy that was for me? What do you want with Junshin? He conspired to kill my family. He's been saving refugees. And his name wasn't on the list we found. Someone left him a note at the temple. It's identical to the ones the conspirators carried. Junshin was promised supplies for his relief camps. In return, he was to provide information on my whereabouts. It's just an offer. This proves nothing. It proves he had contact with the person who killed my family. We will get to the bottom of this by talking to Junxing. You have my word. He was last seen at Redleaf Temple. She's intense. Like, oh my gosh. I, I know why everybody's scared of her. I'm not scared of her, because if we hook, she finna die, but that's not the point. That is not the point. Let's go. 
Wait for me. Keep up. Wait for me. Keep up. When we find the monk, let me deal with him. Remember, we agreed to talk to him. The men who killed my family talked with their swords. Masako, you will not kill Junshin until we're certain of his guilt. Your father was murdered. Did you talk with his killer? No. Lord Shimura tracked him down and collected his head. Not the same, but okay. Don't stand in the way of mine. To the left. Enough! Here, you bastards! Whoa, when did I get this low? Whoa! Oh, right, because I never healed from the last. Right, because, you know. ready! We need to find Junshin. This way. I like how she just knows where to go. Fine. It's close. And so is the monk. Okay. This rock. We can take them. No, we strike quietly. Jin. Or they might kill the monk. Fine. I'll take one. You take the other. No! This won't last much longer. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. Hold on, I gotta. Oh no, my is itchy. Holy crap! Oh my gosh! I thought I could freaking chain assassinate. Reinforcement. Is that you? I need to get Junshin. Oh, Jesus. Masako. Stand aside, Jin. You betrayed my family. Run! We fight. Mongols win. They already won. Oh, she's stupid. Oh, my friend. Give me. <laughs> no. I love this game. <laughs> like that. This is really like. Oh, why do all bosses? Okay, all bosses pretty much have the same move set. Or, or kind of similar ones. We agreed to talk to him. Talking never works. You promised. My promise is to. I'm glad I didn't use up my resolve. Do you hear them 
coming. They are the enemy. She does know that I'm the best swordsman in the land, right? Like on some... On some official stuff. Oh my gosh. I, I just like how that tracked me. And I, you know, I hope I get to have the same type of duel with Sensei Ishikawa. I really do, because I'm tired of him too. It's old people making me mad, because they're so stubborn. Luckily, these guys are easy. Okay, this is where the problems get big. There we go. There's one. Oh, that almost, that almost did something. All right, then there's a captain over there. I'll take care of him momentarily. Oof, these guys with the cannons are they can they can do some damage. My kill. Don't ever attack me again. You gave me your word. When I looked at Junshin, all I saw were my dead grandchildren. Their faces after being cut down, and you were protecting him. So you tried to kill me? Have you lost your mind? I have lost everything! No, you've sacrificed everything for revenge. And what do you feel when you think of Juzo? We can't let anger consume us. Will blind us to our friends. You still trust me? Junshin won't get far. We can track him down. Masako, don't ever try to kill me again. I won't. I promise. Look for his tracks. I like how Jin gave her a real threat because he's right. She should never try to kill me again. She'll die. I kind of miss Eagle Vision and stuff like that in Assassin's Creed games. I really do. Jin, over here. Junshin went this way. Uh, maybe I should finally crack open the Ezio collection. Perhaps I should speak with him first. So you don't trust me. It doesn't matter. Jinshin won't. And we need him to talk. Fair point. But remember, Jin. He only needs his tongue to talk. I like how Jin's the best swordsman in the land, and it's unanimous. Everybody knows. Don't kill me. Who offered you supplies in exchange for information about Masako? She called herself L Lady Hana. Liar! Masako, wait. Who is Lady Hana? My sister. She was massacred with the rest of my family. She visited me two nights ago. Wore a crimson kimono with a golden sash. I remember. She smelled of chrysanthemum. No. no. I never told her anything about you. I swear it. Leave us. My sister's alive. She 
murdered the children. Why would she want to destroy your clan? I don't know. But I am going to find her. You don't have to do it alone. Meet me in Kamiyagat. I got surprised. Well, no. No, that wasn't a surprise. I thought it was going to be like her her aunt or something like <laughs> but her sister's still alive okay i like that i like that that's 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 cool so her sister's probably jealous of her being lady masako odachi or whatever and then she's like i wanted your life sis but she couldn't have it because she was the sister Oh, I can't do the next one yet. Lame. Alright, I guess I'll meet Norio. That's oh, that's so lame. But I like I, I like that twist. That was fun. Interesting. Not unexpected though. I was I was wondering about that for a while. I'll talk to him after I go to the gift altar. Allow me to strengthen your armor, my lord. Kensei Gosaku Gosaku. This will protect you. Ah. Uh, you need more to make these improvements. Holy crap, like <laughs> I was just looking at this like I just need supplies. Oh, my thanks. That's all I need. Did he equip Jin? My G. No. That's not bad. Oh, right. Norio's right here, but I'm not, I don't need to speak to him yet. Lord Sakai. Norio. I like these side quest stories. They're, they're, they're pretty decent. They keep me interested, at least. Let me find... I was gonna go find a trapper, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Not yet. We've all been worried about Hochi. They need a break. Such moments are rare these days. I used to be like them. I'm not the same man I was the night before Kumala. How bad was it? Kumala? Bad. We lost everyone. The beach was soaked with so much blood, it was like paste. Be grateful you didn't see it. We rode south all day into the night. A bad storm slowed us to a crawl. Stopped at a farm to sleep a few hours. I woke to screams. The main house on fire. Mongol raiders. They took us to Canada in chains. After that, I wish I had died fighting. I think I know where they took Hochi. You want to go now? Yes.
Fun time, fun time. Where are we headed? A camp on the coast. Mongol ships stop there for supplies and prisoners on the way north. If they put him out to sea, we'll lose him. Lord Sakai, when this is all over, what will you do? I hope one day I can return home, find a way to rebuild. I wish I still felt that way about my temple. Most of my life, my course was clear. Follow the Eightfold Path, raise a family, serve Cedar Temple. You can still do those things. I joined the temple because of my brother. And I always imagined my children and Enjo's children growing up together. Don't monks have to be celibate or something? Like Japanese or... Yeah, don't these type of monks have to be celibate? You'll still have a life to lead. Maybe I'm thinking about like Shaolin monks. That's probably exactly what I'm thinking. And the other monks who die. Do you ever feel that way about the samurai of Komoda? Like you owe them a debt. Sometimes. Like my life has to count for a hundred samurai. Sure does. That doesn't feel possible. Maybe that's the point. Life before the invasion feels like it happened to someone else. Or like childhood. Maybe 20 years from now, you'll look back on this moment the same way. Lord Sakai, I told you Hochi strongly opposes violence, right? You said he disagreed with the warrior monks. He hates all weapons, including yours and mine. He can lecture me all he likes while we're getting close to the camp. I wish he finished that sentence, but okay. I really thought that those birds were people. I truly did. Who will face me first? One, two, three. Oh, Junk, I was not paying attention. I was looking at what's his face, Norio. That could have been dangerous. What? Oh my god, how? Oh my goodness. Have to find Hochi. The Mongols are holding someone there. Hochi has to be. If I go alone, I can reach him without the Mongols knowing. A Mongol signal cannon. I could set it off. Draw their attention while I get Hochi out. After I find Hochi, we'll meet there. Don't wait for me if I'm late. Get Hochi back to the village. I can handle myself. I'll meet you both back in Akashima village. Set off the signal cannon. I'll get Hochi. Take refuge in Amida Buddha, my lord. You ever wonder why sometimes Jin just opts to just not kill every Mongol that he sees? Because he does it often. But he doesn't always do it. Like, there's plenty of times where we definitely could kill all these Mongols. Because this camp is light. Like... <laughs> It's the usual size. But, I mean, I know it's for story reasons, but I'd just be thinking about that. Oh, he said he could set it off. I thought he would set it off. I love how I just did that. I really do. I'm pissed. Pissed. I'm so. That's. I keep doing that. Like. Whoa! 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 Okay. 
Oh, whoa. Alright, you gotta back dodge that one. Sheesh. Never mind. Taking out the whole camp anyway. are returning me to see the temple. The people there need healers, badly. There's no time for this. I'm sorry, but I must remain here. Jin! Ochi! Norio? What are you doing here? The alarm drew a raiding party nearby. They're almost on us. Uh, damn it. Stay by Kochi. We won't let them near you. Norio, ready your blade. I was wrong. We ended up killing all these guys anyway. As per usual. I don't mind. Is he really gonna come straight here? Like I'm not his, his guardian angel? Oh, if he, if he gonna be throwing those... Receive a lesson in manners. A monk of Cedar Temple is your sensei. Are the others with you, Norio? Everyone is gone. It's just me now. I'm sorry. I wish we could end this bloodshed. The Mongols were searching for me. I gave myself up to save lives. How did they know where to find you? They knew I was an Akashima. And they wanted to return me to see the temple. They need a healer. You're willing to treat the enemy's wounded? Mongol or Japanese, we all suffer. Some deserve it. But this means... Has Cedar Temple fallen? I don't know. Norio. Take Kochi back to the village before reinforcements arrive. They will seek revenge. I'll meet you there to plan a defense. One day when I get big, I might start. I just might stream. Ooh, noble fighter's headband. But I feel at one point in my life, like with certain games, I think I'd rather stream them <laughs> if I if I were to have that type of time. Cause I really I really don't. I can't. The streaming is a, is a different type of stamina, and I don't have that right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm -hmm. I, I would stream some of these walkthroughs and then with other things I'd make actual videos I could really just I should just teleport over there there's no point in running does this I've been playing this non-stop like there's only one day that I have not played at least three hours of this game or at least an hour worth of this game and I could just be streaming that and that would be easier because they require a lot less editing. <gasps> Finally. Oh my goodness, and I still couldn't read it. Ah, uh, pressed. It's wrong to enter violence with more violence, Norio. It's right to prevent more suffering. Lord Sakai. What's the problem? Mongols are gathering nearby, preparing to strike. We should evacuate to Castle Canada. Evacuate and the Mongols will hunt you down. Not one of you will live to see Canada's walls. But we won't have blood on our hands. Go tell the village your plan for them, Hochi. I'd like to see that. 
Norio, I wish you cared about the Eightfold Path more than others' opinions. First you follow Enjo around, now Lord Sakai. Do you ever think for yourself? Wash my brother's name from your mouth. Enough! Norio and I will do the fighting. Everyone else can go hide. I refuse to hide. I don't take lives. But I am not a coward. What he's saying is actually stupid. I I get being peaceful. I'm a peaceful person. Like in terms of just, there's no point in I'll senseless killing. Village. See what defense. But you're all going to die quickly. Gather everyone to you. Ready them to take shelter. And he's just like, I don't, I don't want to hide. Like, come on, bro. Huh? I'm tired. Of, I'm tired of this dude. All right. I'm tired of all the old everyone, people in this game. Need you to gather here. Bring your families quickly. Here, perfect. If we flee into the swamp, people will get lost, separated. Easy prey. A temple. People could hide there. Make sure everyone is here. Family, friends, neighbors. No walls. Mongols can strike from any direction. Gather round. Don't wander off. No need to panic. Incense burners. Just gather here. Add black powder to the incense. Get the smoke nice and dense. Enough to use as cover. Nurio and Hochi lead everyone to the temple. I'll deal with the Mongols here. They'll blame me, not the villagers. I like how confident Jin is. I mean, I'm confident with Jin too. I mean, we can take care of all these Mongols ourselves. We don't need that much help. everyone. Take them to the temple. I won't let you fight alone. If the Mongols go to the temple, who will protect these people? I'll do as you ask. Keep your Naginata ready. I'll owe you a jar of sake for putting up with Hochi. Everyone! Mongols are on the way. Follow me to the temple. The invaders will face the wrath of a samurai. Please, everyone! Do as Norio says! We take shelter at the temple! Yo, I know what's finna happen, and I did not. Okay, I'm running low on time, but it's fine. I'm gonna finish this out. But I know what's finna happen. So, if I'm, if my thinking is correct, we're gonna set up this black powder and these incense, right? And then it's gonna create a big old smoke screen, like he said. And then we're gonna start murdering people from the shadows, like we usually do. It's gonna be fine though, cause like we're gonna be coming from the fog. I want somebody, one of those creative people out there to make a movie using this game because it's very possible I need to find a place at the edge of town to wait oh, okay oh, okay it's over here gotcha I wonder can I set him off with fire arrows I can hide in a granary. They're here. Now to light the incense burners. I hope the Mongols like smoke. Yes, sir. And they're moving in threes, bet. What? Oh, okay, it's because he hit me before. Because I was so confused. Hold 
击。Oh, there weren't that many. What the heck? I thought there'd be more. I always think there'd be more. That was fun though. So pretty much, it was the jungle's working like a smoke screen. So now I know what that does. I've never used smoke in this game. Is this way? Yeah, it's this way. Nurio, Lord Sakai. I wanted to use ghost mode, but there's no point now. Oh, holy crap! He's he's getting beat. Okay, I do a lot of damage. I can tell because because he went down pretty easily. Is this Hochi? It is. What an idiot. <laughs> what happened, Norio? I was fighting. A Mongol snuck up behind me. Hochi threw himself at a blow meant for me. You're both braver than many samurai I've known. I didn't know he was behind me until I heard him cry out. By the time I turned around, he was dead. It's not your fault, Norio. Every time they lifted the cover on the pit, the daylight would blind us. This time, one of them stank like sake. I felt their hands pull me up, but my brother threw himself at them. He was starving, wounded, but he fought them. He fought them so hard. Norio, you don't have to. Yes, I do. They gave up on me and took Enjo. They took my brother. Everyone who rode south from Cedar Temple, all gone, except me. They deserve to live. I'm the one who should be dead. I thought the same thing after Komodo. Many times. I don't know why we survived, Norio. But we did. And these people are counting on us. We're all they have. The people of Akashima are alive because of you. Don't forget that. Because they won't. Okay, first thing I want to say is that I take back what I said about, oh, I forgot his name, not Norio, it's Hochi, he sacrificed himself for Norio, and he deserves a hero's death, I mean, farewell, oh, sorry, oof, so that's my bad, I thought, you know, I just thought, <laughs> I thought I thought he was being an idiot, as in he literally ran out. It's like, hey man, stop fighting, and then and then died. But no, that is not the case. So I apologize. Right. So now let me check my journal, or let me check all these charms. Okay, I got them. Now let me, let me check my journal. This one. I think it's it's the it's on the last part of the island it has to be. Right, and I'll do this one for Norio. 
and then we'll do so probably we'll get to the third just we'll get to the second act probably in the next couple of episodes but if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure you have a blessed day and i'll see you guys later